Hi there, my name is Alix and I'm a senior support specialist here at Unido. I'm going to be walking you through a demo for our Notion Jira integration. So to start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the flow I've already set up. So first, we're going to go to our blocks of work page. Here you can see that I have selected the Notion tool with my account using the database Jira Spent Progress Report, as well as the Jira Cloud with my account in the project Amethyst. This is a pretty straightforward page, you're just selecting which projects you're syncing between. Next, we're going to go into flow direction. In this bi-directional flow, tasks will be able to sync from Notion to Jira and vice versa. Whereas if I were to select one direction, then only tasks that originated in Jira would be able to sync to Notion. Really, you're only syncing the direction of the creation of items. We're going to keep it to bi-directional as in this case, I want my designers and my developers to both be able to create tasks for one another and be able to send it over provided that they have the proper trigger. Next, we're going to be looking at rules. This determines when things get synced over. So in this case, when an item is in the Notion page Jira Sprint Progress Report and it has the label dev, it's going to get synced over to Jira. So basically what my designers are going to do is that when they want to send something over to our dev team, they're going to add the dev label. And this is all that's needed in order to sync it over to Jira. Here I have the creation date. This is applied to every new flow. I'm going to basically be using it as a test filter so that I can test how I've set up the flow before having it impact all of my other tasks. So basically anything created after this flow will sync, whereas anything created before won't until I remove this rule. On the other side, we're going from Jira to Notion. So on this side, similarly to before, we have a label rule where the label needs to be designed in order to send it to the design team. And also we're going to have the assignee be myself so that I as the manager know and see the tasks that are coming over and can review them before distributing them to my team. Now finally we have our field mapping page. This is determining the information that will sync between the two items that were kept in sync by Unido. I have mapped these myself. We've got some pretty standard stuff in here, as well as some stuff that are particular to my projects and my needs. Here we have the issue summary. So basically the title wherein we can add the issue number as a prefix to the name. So basically when it arrives in Notion, it does have the issue prefix that appears in Jira as well, so that you're able to reference it very easily between teams. Then we have stuff like assignee, your start and due date, the start date is a custom field as Jira doesn't have a native start date field. You have your issue status mapped to Notion status. So here I've configured it so that even though I don't have all of the matching statuses between the two tools, I can still have it move between the statuses um, as it goes. Here I've grouped selected for development and backlog together, which will map to to do in Jira. Basically, this means that if it's in either status, it's still going to mean to do on the Jira side so they can be grouped together and there's not going to be a huge difference for our developers. I've also mapped things like issue type and labels, basically showing when something is a task, make it come over as a task. When something has a design label, we're going to have the design label come over on the other side as well. Same thing with an epic. So from Notion, I can actually add things to certain epics in Jira as well. In the center part here, I can choose the direction of which this information flows. For example, I only really want sprint to be determined on the developer side. I don't want my designers choosing which sprint things get assigned to in Notion. So we're going to have sprint come solely from the Jira side. And I could do this with other fields as well. But for the purposes of what I've set up and what my team needs, this is good so far. That's the flow setup. Usually this takes between three to 10 minutes to set up. So we're going to go ahead and pop over to our Jira board. As you can see, I already have a few items created. However, they aren't going to be synced over at this time because I have that creation date rule in my rules until I remove it. These items were created before the flow was created, so they won't be syncing over. Same thing with the tasks in my Notion project here. Now let's just go ahead and start creating an item. Brief overview of existing issues. We'll make it a task. We'll have it be low priority. We'll put it in the in progress status. So let's put on the dev label. Actually, I think I'll put 
an epic on it too. We'll put it in the emerald epic and we'll wait for the magic to happen. All right, now you can see a few indicators from the Notion side that it's been synced over to Jira, namely that the issue prefix has been added as well as my link to Jira task column has been populated. Let's take a look in Jira. It's appeared in my backlog. So for visibility, I'm gonna throw it into the main sprint. This can be mapped further, but for the purposes of this demonstration, it's just gonna be sent to the backlog. Great, and I can open it up and there we go. We can see that it is part of the Emerald Epic as I described. It's got the low priority. It's got the uh, design and dev labels which keep it in sync on both sides as well as it being assigned to me so that I as the manager can review and check out everything I need to before distributing it to my team. So now what I can do is go back to my rules page. I'm happy with the setup. I like that, how it's syncing. And so I'm going to remove the date rule and things can start syncing again. I'm just going to enter back in here. And so we will start seeing these items populating into Jira and these items populating into Notion. Now, you'll notice that this item from Notion has synced over. However, this is the only item that uh, synced over from all the ones that I already had because the other ones didn't actually uh, adhere to rule requirements. So this one has the design label. However, I need to be assigned. So we're going to assign that to me. That should sync over shortly. This, the can't log in from Firefox, was the only one that had the dev label. So you can see now that uh, I have added myself as an assignee. This synced over quite quickly. And there you have it. That's the end of our demo. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of how to sync between your uh, Notion databases and your Jira. Have a great rest of your day.